welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been doing a, a plugin that I'm going to eventually use on uh, exporting to our personalized namespace on uh, my API. So what I want to do actually is I want to restrict this only to work in Classic Press or to work only in WordPress. Uh, let's say if I decided to add some stuff that is in Gutenberg, so I could probably restrict some of those files from working uh, under Classic Press. Now when Classic Press uh, version 1 was released, uh, the, it came with a couple of new functions uh, in it, like uh, Classic Press version, uh, is dev install, dev version info, and some things that would help with a uh, cache busting like Classic Press asset version. So we'll see this when we use it with our style and uh, JavaScript. But while uh, this is available, I'm just going to use uh, this particular function, which is a Classic Press version, and it is a recommended way for you to use on a plugin. So, all right, so right here I have a little plugin that I use that when I activate, it actually gives me a couple of new post types uh, that I am able to leverage to put information into uh, this particular install. However, what I'm going to do is that I'm going, I'm going to restrict this information, uh, this plugin from working if I uh, check for the Classic Press version. Since this is a Classic Press install, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this function to make sure that this plugin doesn't run if uh, it finds out that this is Classic Press. So, for example, if I reload this page, uh, we'll see that all our little custom post types that we had made here through that plugin are no longer existing. However, if we actually um, say if this particular functionality does not exist, and we reload right here, we actually see that uh, this is uh, actually uh, working for us, so we get back our information. Remember that we are actually in a classic press, so we're able to detect the version. So I just, I'm going to var dump and see what we get when we get this information. So I'll quickly var dump this. Then I'll choose die uh, for that not to continue. So if I actually go back and reload here, we actually see that this is the information we get. We get our value over the classic press version that we are using. So this is quite helpful in a number of ways. Uh, you could use it to restrict the, the kind of your plugin to maybe work on the WordPress or with a WordPress because the reverse is true. However, you could also use it to detect uh, what version of Classic Press you're building for, since uh, version 2, 3, 4 going forward might have a lot of breaking changes. So you might want to deprecate a couple of functionalities, or you might want to stop functionality for particular versions of your plugin. So the power is in your hands, use it wisely. And if you enjoy this video, please share it with your friends. Uh, let people know that they can use Classic Press uh, right now. And you can also give a thumbs up or you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. Uh, enjoy your coding and bye-bye.